was not ready for it at all. This time of year, severe weather is a threat for every city in Wyoming. Yeah, everyone was just kind of freaking out about it, but I don't, there really wasn't much we could do. For many, Friday storms were near deadly. I just brought my daughters downstairs, and then you heard it get like really loud, and you hear like everything hitting. And then I went to go check up uh, upstairs, and then you just see the funnel coming down, and then it got pure white, and you just saw my tree like start going up, like the branches and stuff. It was crazy. Others narrowly escaping. I'm just grateful that they're all alive, and I get to see them on Monday and be there for them. The friends and father of Ashley and Brianna once lived here, a home now completely destroyed. I just feel really bad, and I want to do as much as I can to help. The father tells us he made the decision to grab his two daughters and leave their home behind just 10 minutes before it was blown over and completely destroyed. They didn't have time to grab their eight-year-old cat and could only hope for the best. Just next door, their neighbor's home completely intact, the only visible damage done to a young boy's bike. We were lucky that it didn't hit us. And lucky that no one was hurt that was inside. Across Highway 26, Michael and Shelby had a battle of their own but in the safety of their residence at a hotel they work at above their own. It just went wide out. Like, there was just water fl flinging everywhere, and you couldn't see outside the windows, and we had to get everyone on the bottom floor. There was just, like, a lot of kids, and they were getting, like, really scared. As the storm passed, Michael was hit with the realization of how close danger really came. Our assistant manager calls, is everything okay? I was like, yeah, it's fine. And as I get off the phone with her, a guest comes up and goes, uh, part of your roof's missing, and we walk outside, and there's just this huge chunk gone. The silver lining in this dark cloud? No reported deaths or even injuries. Reporting from Torrington, Anthony Keith, CBS News Channel 5. National Weather Service says the tornado touched down near Yoder.